Adobe Premiere Pro finally lets you change the length of your music clip here automatically. So in this case, I want to make this as short as my entire edit here, which is up here. It's around a minute 17. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And in some cases, like in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out, which is what I've done here. So you see these lines here indicate that I've stretched out this track. I'll show you exactly how to do it in both situations. So the first thing I did is I found a royalty-free audio track. I personally use this platform called Envato Elements. So I'll go ahead and link it below. You could try it completely for free and then go ahead and pay for the subscription if you like it. So I chose a couple of different technology-based music tracks. Now let me go back over here to my project and I brought those into it. So let me start with this shorter video and this is the track I wanna use. So I imported the track here just by double clicking and finding it in my downloads folder. And then I just grabbed this audio track over here onto track two. So track one, which is what I have on mute is me talking and track two is going to be my background music. So before what I used to do is I would basically either make this short here and add some kind of a default transition, but it didn't sound good at all, right? It didn't have that natural ending that you would get with these type of tracks. And sometimes I would just use my blade tool and then kind of chop it up and try to make it work. But you don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is select this clip, go up to window here, make sure this one called essential sound is turned on. You want the check mark and it will show up over here on the right side. Now with this one, I'm gonna go down to music, select music and for duration, check this on right here. And you could either stretch a song. That's not what you wanna do in most cases because it's not gonna do the AI remix. You wanna choose remix here and then you wanna type in the total length of your entire edit here. So in this case, one minute and 18 seconds. So I'm gonna put one minute and 18 seconds and 18 frames. And I'm gonna just press enter here and it's just gonna analyze it. You see that in just a few seconds here, it created this track for me. The same exact music track, just edited, and these are the points that is created cuts using AI technology. But look how it ends. Let me go ahead and play this for you. That has a really, really clean ending. So I could actually go ahead and trim this down and then add a little dissolve at the end. And all these cut points, let me just play one of them here. Very, very seamless. Now on a video track, let me go ahead and delete this one. This time I'm going to add this track. It's a different music track here. But as you could see, it's not gonna finish up my edit here. So what I typically used to do here, I would hold down option and I would just create copies like this, right? You would just kind of copy this all the way through and then maybe add these kind of default transitions, right? A lot of work, it was never perfect. Maybe sometimes use the pen tool, create some kind of dip, right? A lot of manual work, but this is how we're gonna do it this time. I'm gonna grab this track, put it right over here. I'm gonna select it, go back to the music tab here under essential sound, change duration here, check this on, and I want remix again. And my video track this time is eight minutes and 57 seconds. So eight minutes, 57 seconds. Let's go ahead and press enter. Again, it's gonna go ahead and analyze. It's gonna remix this whole track. And if you go to the ending, great, I could go ahead and trim this up, add a quick, end transition here and there we go this is going to sound really really good i tried it with about a dozen different tracks from Inbato elements and it worked very seamlessly i hope you found this quick video useful and i will see you next time